It's time for Digital Ideas. We're on the phone today with Arnold Jensen from Alcatel-Lucent. And we're going to talk about a recent Bell Labs study which compared the relative cost of MPLS and GMPLS-based resiliency mechanisms. Arnold, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Mike. I'm glad to be here. So tell us first, what were the objectives of this Bell Labs study? Uh, well, Mike, uh, as we all know, service providers, they have a really a strong interest in running their networks harder, which basically means to get a better return on their precious network investments and ultimately a lower cost per bit delivered for traffic. Now, the objective of the study was to demonstrate if and how IP optical control integration can reduce resource redundancy requirements in the network without compromising service availability requirements. And then, of course, also to quantify whether the cost savings from freeing up more network capacity for revenue uh, generating traffic uh, to how much that amounts. And as a background, the conventional practice of most service providers today is to operate IP routing and optical transport separately, each in their own silo. And although this provides a clear separation of labor, it doesn't enable them to unlock potential cost synergies from a converged operation of routing and optical transport in an integrated multi-layer network model. Uh, interesting stuff. So can you summarize the study for us? Uh, yes. The study that we commissioned uh, Bell Labs to do clearly demonstrates that there is a complementary value of deploying MPLS at a routing layer in combination with an intelligent generalized MPLS control plane and an agile optical switching layer that can transport you know, any service over any wavelengths in any direction, or what people call CDCF in technical terms. And the results indicate that operators can save in the order of 40% on router ports and optical transponders over the five-year study period when they adopt an intelligent optical control plane based on GMPLS, uh, as opposed to, you know, traditionally operating a static and passive optical transport layer uh, with all IP traffic protection and restoration done solely at the MPLS layer. And when they combine MPLS and GMPLS capabilities and also leverage the uh, GMPLS user to network interfacing that closes the control loop between routing and transport, they can in fact accelerate these cost savings by four to five years. Uh, and then the second part, as I mentioned to the study, it also confirms that service providers can achieve these cost synergies while still meeting all service availability requirements. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about how service providers could achieve these savings? So, yes, there are a number of uh, preconditions. Uh, at the transport layer, you need to have an agile optical switching layer with a GMPLS control plane, obviously, to be able to introduce, uh, you know, these new GMPLS uh, dynamic protection and restoration capabilities. And the Alcatel Lucent 1830 Photonic Service Switch, for example, is an optical transport platform that supports that. Now, in terms of physical transport layer topology, uh, it should be partially or fully meshed so we can actually enable sufficient rerouting options for dynamic restoration schemes. Uh, and conventionally, you know, operators have more like a, a, a link or ring-oriented topology. And then at the routing layer, uh, the precondition is to enable GMPLS user networking interface and interfacing. And this is something that the Alcatel Lucent Service Routing Operating System will introduce uh, uh, later this year. So our existing IP routing and transport customers, and we currently have an installed base of over 150 deployments that are already using our 7x50 service routers and the 1830 PSS transport platform, can achieve full IP optical control plane integration through software upgrades. And for customers that only have the 1830 PSS, uh, they will see cost savings from introducing a GMPLS optical control plane, but these savings may sometimes take a bit longer to materialize, and this depends on the availability and the compatibility of GMPLS UNI support in the legacy routers. Now, obviously, there is also an important operational component involved in the transition from, you know, the classical disjoints to, you know, a future-oriented converged operation of IP routing and optical transport. And while IP optical control integration is invaluable to help service providers coordinate and streamline operations between routing and transport, 
it is a change to the way most operators are currently organized and tooled. However, I think with the study, uh, we proved that there are very strong cost incentives to actually go ahead and implement these changes. Great. Arnold, I know that you have a TechScene article that gives some more detail as well as a corresponding white paper. So um, we're going to be looking for for that really soon. Thanks again for your time. You're very welcome, Mike. That was Arnold Jensen from Alcatel-Lucent. This is Digital Ideas. Thanks for tuning in.